Hello and welcome back to my studio vlog. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of an insight into what I've been up to this week. Now, I tend not to work Mondays because I always work Saturdays. That's sort of a leftover from the fact that I used to teach classes on Saturdays. I rarely teach on Saturdays now, um, but my lovely friend Amanda, um, who works a full-time job, is also kind enough to come and um, help me in the studio on a Saturday. So it just worked really well for me to work Saturdays. I like having a day off in the week, so I take Sundays and Mondays off. You know, I don't want to be at the shops with everybody else on a Saturday anyway, so it suits me fine. And I get to work with Amanda on Saturday. She helps me with all sorts of admin, and she's a queen of spreadsheets, much better than me. So um, that's lovely. So my working week starts really with a Tuesday, and this week I decided that it was time that I absolutely got on with Art Fair admin. I have been involved in running local art shows and art exhibitions for probably over 10 years. I started out just kind of helping out and I got more and more sucked in. It's something that I really, really was interested in. Um, for a few years, I ran jointly as joint organiser with um, my friend Robin. He decided last year that he needed to do other things. Um, he's a little older than me and um, I think he wanted just to spend more time travelling and painting. So I decided to take the art fair on myself and um, I really had been wanting to get my hands on it because it's nice as it is working with friends when you're in charge of something you can um, you can you know you can mold it in your own um, your own image your own ideas and that was something I decided to do so I brought in business sponsorship I made it more professional and every year I'm trying to improve it so the art fair is held in the centre of town and we have 50 professional artists and they're not all painters either. We have a great variety of people. So we have potters and jewellers. And really I try to make it a nice sort of shopping experience for our visitors. And lots of them do buy Christmas gifts. Um, so you know that this is something that I'm, I'm doing at the moment. Um, we, we, there's so much admin. There is an awful lot of admin. And if you have ever run any kind of art exhibition, even just amongst friends or with your art group, you will know that trying to organise artists is like herding cats because most of them are fairly sort of um, fairly flaky and disorganized they're lovely people lovely people to work with but trying to get them to fill in forms and send things on in on time is um you know it requires a lot of patience but i really enjoy it. i really enjoy running the art fair and so that's something i was working on on tuesday just in case i wasn't keeping myself busy enough i also had started working on um, a second exhibition which is a mixed exhibition which i have been asked to curate for a, um, a slightly larger and more contemporary gallery in um, colchester which is our closest um, probably joint closest town with bury st edmunds so colchester is over the border into essex I actually live about 200 yards from the Essex-Suffolk border, so I am technically in Suffolk, but throw a stone and I will hit Essex, and I spend, seem to spend more time working in Essex than in Suffolk. It's a little more towards the uh, the direction of London, and it tends to be a little bit more towny and a, bit, a little bit more lively and less rural than my own, uh, my own county. So as well as working on Art Fair Admin this week, I also um, started to get a bit more serious about doing Pinterest. So I've been um, dabbling with Pinterest to promote my art videos and to promote artwork. And it's it's a sort of a strange thing, like sometimes you put a pin up on Pinterest and um, a pin is a graphic, by the way, with a link. And sometimes nothing happens and sometimes it gets picked up and shared and um, it does sort of bring you some traffic. But I... Uh, I'm getting more, I've always been into social media and always interested in search engine optimization and in website traffic and things like that. So I'm sort of, uh, I'm quite excited about Pinterest because Pinterest is a search engine unlike Facebook or Twitter and people uh, will find your content on it um, months or even years later. So I'm doing a little experiment at the moment where I'm building up my Pinterest following and trying to make sort of better boards and Put more of my stuff on there so i will spend some time making spreadsheets so that i could organize all of that and also making some graphics um, that um, myself or um, my friend amanda could drop um, images into so that we can uh, we can make pins for all of the things that i have going on so i spent some time on pinterest i spent an awful lot of time um, answering emails because i have lots of emails come in and then today I did start um, on a new painting. So about a year ago, I had a go at um, 
I, I'd seen these bubble techniques. I think I saw it first of all on a, I think somebody lent me a book on using brusho. Now brusho is, um, if you haven't tried it, it's great fun and very messy. Brusho is a watercolor pigment powder. I think somebody lent me a book on that and there was a bubble technique in there whereby you got sort of washing up liquid and you made this bubbly mixture with brusho and then you dipped your paper across the top of it and you got a bubble texture. I tried it, it was okay, but the downside to brusho is that it tends to always reactivate when you put subsequent layers of paint on. So then I started thinking to myself, how could I get this bubble texture as a background in my paintings without subsequent layers interfering with it? And then of course I thought acrylics. So I am by nature a watercolorist, but I do use mixed media. I teach acrylics as well as watercolor painting. And so I had a go with acrylics and it worked rather well. And I got this nice purple background. So in a minute, I'm gonna turn the camera downwards and, um, and show you what I've been doing to start a new painting using this texture that I actually made on my board about six months ago. Now, just before we do that, I thought I would share some good news with you. And um, what I did this month, um, never let it be said that I am a superstitious person. On the 13th of February this month, I did two things. The first thing was I entered a piece of work in the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition Open uh, Competition. So uh, they have about 10,000 entries. I have very little chance of getting in. There are several stages that you have to get through. So um, we'll see how that goes. I didn't want to put too much about it online. I thought it might jinx it. But if you do want to see the painting that I entered, there's a post about it on my closed Facebook group. So if you hop over to Facebook, and you find my Facebook group, it's called In the Studio with Michelle Weber, and you hit the join button, you can go in and scroll down and you'll see the painting that I made recently and put in for the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. If you can't find a link for my Facebook group, just go over to my website, which is just my name with .com on the end of it, and you'll find a big link on the front page that will take you through to the Facebook group. Now, I said I did two things on the 13th that were kind of tempting fate, and the second thing I did on the 13th, and I could have arranged it for a different day, but I thought, you know, it came through on the 13th, and I thought, well, let's go with it. The second thing that I did was to go and have my yearly mammogram test. Now, I have to have mammograms every year because five years ago I had breast cancer, and I had to have a lump removed, and I had radiotherapy, and ever since then I've been on quite a strong drug called tamoxifen, so having cancer at um, a relatively young age, under the age of 50, as I was at the time, but am not now, um, it did. Uh, it was it was quite an experience actually, and um, it knocks your confidence a lot. And the side effects have been um, difficult to deal with. I've had to cope with people telling me that I shouldn't be taking the drugs that I'm on and that I shouldn't have mammograms. You know, it's, it's a bit like anti-vaxxers. You get all of this stuff sent to you. And although I am someone that absolutely does believe in the power of things like healthy eating and meditation and all of those things and exercise, I am not going to stop taking the other uh, drugs that my doctor has prescribed for me unless I absolutely have to. And recently the GP had sort of mentioned to me that I might have to stay on tamoxifen for 10 years, because uh, not because of me, but because of new research that was suggesting it might be a good idea for certain people with certain types of cancers. So that got me down a bit, and I thought, oh dear. So anyway, I in the end, I bought the I bit, I bit the bullet and um, phoned up the uh, my consultant, and I was told that no, I only needed to stay on tamoxifen for five years. So I have been waiting for this result to come through, um, and it arrived today. The letter arrived today from the NHS while um, my friend Amanda was here, and um, I was. My hands were shaking as I opened the letter and um, I did cry a little bit and I think Amanda cried a little bit too. And I am not a person that cries. I am, you know, one of the least emotional people on the planet, probably a very down to earth sort of person. But um, it's uh, it's quite a big deal. And so I'm absolutely delighted that I am now officially not a cancer patient any longer. OK, so I thought I'd just share that bit of good news with you. And now I'm going to point the camera downwards and show you what I've been working on today. So I'll start with a close-up there and you can see the purple is the uh, the acrylic bubble texture and I am going to try this again and I'll probably do a video on it too because it's, uh, it's a really lovely thing isn't it? Look how pretty it's looking. So today I decided to um, to draw a bird design and um, some flowers from a photo I had and then what I did was I added a background colour over 
the um, the bubbles but let them show through and then I've started I'm still in the process of painting these blossoms here with some nice pink paint the bird itself obviously because I've used the um, the paint underneath I could just paint on watercolor on top but I think there's rather a lot of purple there so I'll either paint on top with acrylics or I may even do some collage because I'm looking lately at doing stuff that's got more um, recycled elements. The exhibition that I'm going to be running at the Minories is going to be about um, plastic and the environment and recycling. So this may be something that I'm looking at uh, for that as well. So I hope you enjoyed that little look into my week and my work as a professional artist. It's a lovely sunny day here, shockingly, in February in the UK. So. I am probably, I'm going to do a little bit more admin. I've got some emails to answer and things like that. And then I'm probably going to take a nice walk and just enjoy the sunshine and um, be pleased with my happy news that I got today. So um, do consider subscribing. You'll get lots of art vlogs like this and video tutorials, um, art tutorials, art techniques, and also lots of art business advice to help you take your own creativity to the next level.